Hello everyone, it is Andrea and today I'm coming at you with a plan with me. Somehow I feel like I already need a drink. <clears throat> but I'm coming at you with a plan with me. No, I guess I don't need a drink. In my A5 wide, I'm using the print impression. It's like the yellow from the patina collection and the print impression inserts the like SPC version, which is my favorite of all favorite inserts. They are just basically super blank and I am using the Flavor Town kit with Gold Hollow. Most of the Gold Hollow I'm using is from Planahanna, but I wanted to pull in the um, like the icon, the mini icon sheet from this other Gold Hollow, Gold Hollow foil bundle from my shop in Stars because I really needed my mini icons, but I pulled in lots of other Planahanna things and I think it turned out fantastic I feel like this is a kit that could have went with so many different foil colors you could have did silver you could have did gold you could have did um like a black a red an orange the gold hollow like there was just so many possibilities I or yeah like and then all the variations of like black and all the variations of hollow and all the variations of gold hollow I mean but I decided on gold hollow I think that that is kind of a vibe with all of the like colors that are on the add-on with like the red the orange and the yellow like the actual colors of the kit whereas the rest of it's like gray scale um, but I wanted to use as many boxes as possible here so I went through and strategically figured out which boxes were making the cut and I'm also using super, super cute underlays from Planahanna. I'm using the cutlery ones along with the fire ones. I'm not sure what the fire ones are called, but they were the ones that I like extracted the pattern that Jess drew in the bottom washi paper and sent it to Hannah to make underlays so that they would match this kit. But I think it turned out super pretty and I am obsessed with this week. This week was very, very busy. We had guests. My BFF Brie, who I've been friends with for basically my whole life. Nick's known her since kindergarten. I've been friends with her since the seventh grade. And um, she's like, well, she was going to surprise me, but she knows I don't really like surprises. Um, coming for like for my birthday, but flights were like crazy around my birthday. So she came this week instead. They came on Sunday of last week or was it Saturday? I'm not sure. Maybe it was Saturday. Yeah, I think they came Saturday of last week and then they left this Sunday. So they were here for like nine days, I think. Um, it was definitely a long week because we were doing things every single day, whereas our normal life kind of consists of like working during the day and then hanging out with the boys at night and then like me and Nick just like hanging out together at night. So we are definitely not used to doing things every day but it was super fun and the kids had a lot of fun as well and I got to do some fun activities so let's go ahead and start talking about the week I just love the way that this foil looks I just think it's so pretty and I will leave um everything that I will all of the shops that I use I'll leave down below um so on the sidebar, I think I put in that this little like munchkin that says some friends are family and then I put in that I was super, super tired because not only did we have friends over, but Lila was waking up in the middle of the night this week. She had really bad poops, um, TMI, but we all poop, so hers were just not agreeing with her, so she was pooping at like the middle of the night. So she did that for like two weeks and I'm very tired, but now she seems to be over it, which is awesome. So on Monday, I put in that we went to Monument Cafe in the morning and it was super fun. I always get the same thing whenever I go to breakfast place. Like sometimes I don't actually this day, I think I ordered like a lot of food, but um, I always get like whatever, like the two egg plate with bacon with like whatever toast, I don't care. And then I get my eggs over medium, which I didn't know was a thing until like five or six years ago. But I'm always like, I always wanted over easy eggs, but hard. And everyone's like, oh, over medium. Didn't know it was a thing. And there's also like over medium hard whites or something like that. Or I don't remember how to say it. There's like another like one above that. But yeah, 
I always get the same thing. So what do you normally get whenever you go to breakfast places? I feel like if I ever stray from that, I always get like sausage and biscuits if the place is like known to have good sausage and biscuits. And also Bennett loves them too, so we usually share. And I also like a breakfast potato too. I love breakfast potatoes. Um, so we went to Monument and then Brie cut Nick's hair this day. And then we packed to go to Dallas, which was a bit of a wreck. I feel like the last time I went to Dallas, it was also a little bit of a wreck. I think it was with Brian and Kirsten. Um, and it was just like, I feel like it's just like never works out. But I want to go back maybe in like the fall whenever it's like cooler. But anyways, let's get into the nitty gritty of that. So the drive there was kind of a wreck as well because Theo does not like sitting still. Lila was perfect. Theo was per- Bennett was perfect, but Theo was just not having it. We got to the Airbnb and it was gross. Like, I just, I don't know. Usually Nick's like, Nick's a very, very clean person. Like he is very clean and he's very like, I don't know. Like he needs everything to be organized and like clean and like bugs gross him out. Like dirt grosses him out. So normally he's like complaining about like, when things are dirty, but, like, everyone was, like, this Airbnb is gross, and I feel like in the current times, like, having an Airbnb that's gross is even worse than, like, before having an Airbnb that's gross, but it was also in, like, a really, like, kind of didn't feel super safe, like, area, but that, like, wasn't bad because there was, like, a security system, so that felt, like, a little bit better, but there was more so that it was dirty. There was, like, makeup stains, like, on all the pillowcases, And Theo walked around for, like, maybe, like, five minutes on the floor and his feet were, like, completely black. Like, we had to, like, scrub his feet. So, basically, we, like, messaged them and they were, like, oh, like, you can change out the sheets. And I'm, like, how do we know that those ones are clean? It just is, like, all seems pretty gross. Like, especially in current times to, like, not have washed any of the sheets at all. Like, it was, like, it wasn't, like, a makeup stain. Like, there was just on every pillowcase in the whole house, there was, like, makeup like somebody had a full face of makeup and like laid on it and then like flipped the pillow over and it was just it was just gross um so we ended up leaving and it was just a whole thing but we ended up staying at a hotel which was closer to everything anyways and we got room service because we were just all like so tired from like the drive and then like the airbnb fiasco so we just got room service and then we were just like kind of at wit's end it was just like a long day and we almost went home so I put in I think I put in a this is fine type sticker like with the fire on it because it was just like such a stressful night and Nick was like I think we should just go home and I was like probably it was just like a lot but then like everything calmed down and it was like that Theo was like not having the sleeping situations and everybody just needed to go to bed So we decided to stay and then in the morning we got up and it was just like, I feel like it was like a cursed trip because we got up and I was like, oh, like I wonder like, because we were planning on going to the zoo this day. I was like, oh, I wonder like if I buy tickets online, if like we get like a discount or something. So I'm going to look and buy the tickets because I got up at like six or something. So I was like looking and I was like, oh my God, they're sold out till 1 p.m. I was like, I didn't even think to look. I am so glad that I did look because if we would have went and like, I don't even, I didn't even know that was like a thing to like, you need to buy tickets early to go to the zoo, but, um, we ended up buying the tickets for one o'clock and we went to the aquarium prior, but I was just like, it just was like one thing after another, but that was kind of like sort of the final thing. So I was like, you know, things happen. Days are just bad sometimes, but we move on because it's really not that bad. None of this is actually that bad. So, um, Went to the aquarium, which was super nice. The kids loved it. It was, like, it was nice because there wasn't just, like, fish. There was, like, all kinds of animals, like, birds and alligators and penguins and otters. And, like, I guess those are all kind of, like, aquatic adjacent. Well, they had some, like, weird other animals, like sloths and other ones. I don't know the names of the rest of them, but it was cool. Um... And I, I'm glad that we did that versus just like not doing anything and then going to the zoo because when we got to the zoo, it was so hot and we did Disney and Disney was like pretty warm. Like in, I don't remember when we went, 
maple Nar April, I think. Um, it was pretty warm and like none of us really complained too much. And we're from Texas or we're we live here now. So it was so hot and Lila was not having it. And it was because of the heat. Lila is the sweetest, happiest baby in the whole entire world. Rarely cl- cries, rarely is mad about anything. Literally princess angel baby, happy go lucky all the time. And she was not having it. So we basically went to the zoo for maybe like an hour and then we left. Um, we got to see like giraffes and gorillas and lions and, you know, a good, good little assortment. We didn't even really like dip into the zoo though, but the zoo was so big and so nice. And I really want to go back because I want to do that. And then there, the boys, well, Nick and Bennett really want to do, I think it's, is it the Perot or the Perot? The Perot? I don't know. But it's like a museum and they have like dinosaur fossils and stuff. And that has been its jam. He was so upset that we like didn't stay the night and go again the next morning. But we were all just like wanted to sleep in our own bed. And it was just like a long, like long disaster like of events. Just like, I don't know, like a string of bad events. We were just like, all right, let's just go home. Everyone's in a good mood. It'll be a good drive. And um, so we got home from, we got back to the hotel and I threw Theo in the shower because he loves being in the shower he'll just kind of like pitter patter and play with the water like at the bottom and just chill so he did that and then I took a shower and then we left early and the drive home actually wasn't that bad at all I drove the way home and Nick drove there I prefer driving usually 99% of the time I drive I just I have like anxiety if I'm a passenger in a car, but for some reason, like when I drive, like I don't have anxiety. So it usually just works out better that I drive, but I drove home. So Nick was like hanging out with the kids in the back and Theo slept for like a good hour and a half of it, which was perfect. Um, and then he was pretty occupied. We stopped from at McDonald's and got some like French fries because I feel like, like giving French fries for like a good 20 minutes also keeps him busy and everyone was just kind of happy, had a little bit of food in their bellies, chilling. It was a good drive home. And then we got Mad Greens for dinner, which we haven't ever had. I think we had Mad Greens maybe once. They used to be in their domain, but then they closed. But they have one. I don't even know where it is actually. But um, we got it and it was good. I think I got a wrap. I would like to try a salad um, because I have a feeling the salads are going to be good. Then when, when all the kids went to bed, all of the adults watched um, The Lost City, which is the movie with Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum and Daniel Radcliffe, and it was so funny. I thought it was going to be like, you know, you chuckle a little and it's like funny, but like mostly cheesy, but not. Nah, it was good. Like if you're on the fence about watching it, do watch it. It was cute for like the type of movie it was, like as like a little like rom-com it was, it was pretty funny and I liked it. I would probably watch it again in a couple of years whenever I kind of like forget the jokes. And then this night I had a huge panic. So there's a formula shortage and I formula feed and that is like, it's just, to me, I don't understand. I do understand. I understand the chain of events that happened to get us to this point, but I just don't understand because, and it's like the worst thing. I think I haven't thought of anything worse for like us to be out of like everything else I feel like there's a substitute for but formula there's not and I'm like also like at the point where I'm like I want to help people but like I I can't what can I do because I can't go out and buy formula and donate it there's no formula anywhere so this night was the first night that it kind of clicked that there was a shortage and we kind of were like panicking because through like guests and Disney and that usually we have like a good stock of it but we were down to like two if you if you like formula feed they're like little like middle bag type things down to two of those which Lila that's like a week and a half she eats a lot so I panicked and I found a couple of options online most of those were canceled um now like there's none of those options were online and then I went to a bunch of stores the next day I think I went to six different stores. I went to Walgreens. I went to CVS. I went to Target. um, I went to Walmart. I went, maybe I went to two CVSs and there was nothing. There was like a couple random ones, but it's also, it's kind of, I like relate this to other people who don't have kids. 
It's like trying to switch your dog's dog food. Like you don't really want to do it because it can mess up their bellies. And Lila is on like Gentilies, which is like for like sensitive stomachs. So I feel like that's like even harder. And then I think of like the people who have babies that are like have milk allergens or like are on food stamps and can only get it from a certain place. And like it just breaks my whole heart because that's like it's honestly... I don't know what you do like I don't know and like we went we took her to the pediatrician like later in the week and we're talking to them about it and they're like we don't know know really what to tell people to do either and thankfully I have like friends who got me some I like I got some online like I said most of the orders are canceled and then also like I have gotten some on eBay for like astronomical prices but like that's not like all readily available to other people and I just don't know what to do like what I can do to help people so that's where I'm like really stuck and like irritated that this is like a thing like it shouldn't be a thing so yeah hopefully it gets better soon like it's something that like can get better and like supply can be like met but it's just like such a like complicated situation so it stresses me out so besides that I feel like this has been a real downer of a video but you can't have all happy weeks but the rest of the week is like happier so I was definitely stressed about that but then I feel like I got enough to like be not stressed and like just hoping that it lasts until like I can get more but like I said if you like really really need it it's like super expensive on eBay but like I don't know it's it's a shot because it's online I have you can barely find anything at all on any website at all and then sometimes you'll find something and it'll be like, it's on back order. And you're like, well, that's kind of like, you don't even know when that's coming if it's on back order. So on Wednesday, it was Lila's five months. So I went and put that in. And then I got Starbucks for breakfast. I actually haven't had Starbucks in like five days, I think now. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. I definitely feel way more tired all day long, but it, I know it's just like, I have to get through it and then I'll feel better. But I've been drinking a lot of water every once in a while, like maybe like once a day, I'll drink a can of Diet Dr. Pepper, but I'm trying to cut Starbucks out of my life. And then I did try and go get formula. Like I said, I went all over the place and I went at like opening and is, is not good there's nothing nothing out there and then I we went to the pool this day and then for lunch we got Tarka and then for dinner we got Zoe's which is my fave they my fave salad and then we just played games and then I put in that I was right um it wasn't even like that big of a thing but it was that big of a thing so I feel like me and Bree's husband are very similar in that we like being right and my trick to always being right is you never argue unless you know 100% that you're right. Do you know what I'm saying? And if you're not sure, you say, I'm not sure, but I think. So unless I know something is 100% true, I never say that I know. Does that make sense? So this night I said, so well, he said something and I was like, no, I'm pretty sure it's not true. And he like, we were like arguing about it, not for real, but it was like a funny, like, no, yeah, no. And I was right. So I wanted to put it in there because it was a victory for me, even though he would still not admit that I was right. I know I was right. So I put it in. Then I also got a McFlurry this night when we were playing games, which were super fun. I don't remember what we played though. Ooh, I think we're, like we just like playing like the question games because I feel like, you know, the ones where like it invokes conversation because then like we basically don't play the game most of the time. We just like get off on tangents about other things and just like talk and learn more things about each other. So, so we did on Wednesday. On Thursday, it was kind of like me and Bree's date day. We wanted to have one day that we could just kind of go and do like whatever we wanted to do. And the boys were going to do um, a movie. They went with Brian and they saw Doctor Strange. But on Thursday, we went to the domain. That was Bree's request. She wanted to go to Nordstrom and Macy's to look at dresses because she has a wedding. It's so funny. <sighs> She has this wedding that she's going to in like June or something and it's like black tie and she's ordered so many dresses for this wedding and I have never seen Brie more indecisive about something in her entire life 
and I have probably gotten like 50,000 links to dresses and I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore but she went and tried on a bunch of dresses and they all looked so cute on her I feel like we found so many good ones and that got her like inspiration for like what she wanted to order online as far as cuts go because I feel like it's kind of like wedding dress shopping where you go in with kind of an idea, but a lot of the times I feel like you don't know what something looks like on you because like when else do we wear wedding dresses, right? So you end up sometimes liking things that maybe you didn't think that you would like because they look really good. Um, so we went to Nordstrom, we went to Tiffany's because she wanted to get her husband a birthday present um, and it's super, super cute. I'm excited to see like his reaction. And then we went to True Food to eat and oh, it was so good. I got these like edamame dumplings and then I got this like flatbread pizza and then she got this like Korean noodle bowl and it was all so good. And then they have right now like a seasonal like strawberry lemonade that was so, so, so tasty. Um, and then we went to Ritzia, which I just love Ritzia. Now I think I got Brie on the train of Ritzia as well. And then she wanted to go into Altered State. And I got uh, Lila the cutest little sunglasses from there. I was dying. Then we went to Macy's and Untuck It to get Bruce, her husband, some shirts. And then we went to Madewell because I was like, Brie had never heard of Madewell. And I was like, Madewell is like so your style. So we went in there. And then we went to Starbucks Reserve because... I don't actually remember why. I think Bray wanted just to get a drink. We went in the other, I think last week, because Nick needed beans. And then the boys went to the movies and we got Ike sandwiches and watch Magic Mike while we did our nails and also did these like weird hair twist things. I feel like you've probably seen them on like the internets where you like have these like rods, like long rods and you like wrap your hair around them it like worked with Bree's hair but for mine I have so many layers and like short layers that like everything just kept like coming out so maybe if I had like a better technique I'll have to like watch some YouTube videos but it, it was promising I don't know but and then like I said we watched Magic Mike because like ugh, I had like Channing Tatum on the brain so we just like plopped that on while we were doing all of these things then on Friday got Starbucks and then we went to the pool again we got Sweet Lemon Kitchen for lunch which was so yummy I don't remember what I got though I think I got like an a uh, croissant like steak and egg sandwich which was really good I've been obsessed with croissants recently I kind of want to like learn how to make them because croissants are everything especially with egg like I don't care if there's meat on it like croissant egg sandwich with cheese oh, so good then we got Kyoto for dinner, which is like a hibachi place, and oh, I love it so much. I love their vegetables. And then I put in bug net for Theo. So Theo has been climbing out of his crib, and we tried taking his crib, like his bed out of his crib, and like doing like a floor bed, but it just doesn't work. We've tried, we've tried, we've tried. And I was like, you know what? I feel like every single time that I have a problem, there is a solution on Amazon. So another thing that we had a problem with for a long time and then found a solution on Amazon is our bed. I feel like it's like a weird size, like it's a king bed, but I feel like there's something about it that's off because it doesn't fit inside of my bed frame like correctly. And I know that my bed frame's not like messed up. And then also I feel like sheets just like come right off of it, like fitted sheets just like right off of it all the time. So literally for like six plus months, we would be so mad every night because we had to like take the fitted sheet and like try and get it under the bed and I was super pregnant too when this was all happening and on Amazon if this is a problem you have they sell these like suspender things that like crisscross under your bed and then you like suspender them on which is amazing so Theo's bug net is they sell if this is a problem that you have and your kids also just like not at the point where they should be like they're like mentally ready to transition out of a bed it's basically like a tent you put on their bed that's like mesh and it just you just zip it and that's it they can't get out like at all and I'm like this is amazing because it's basically like a fun cool tent he thinks that he's like in the jungle in a tent but he's like safely kept inside of his bed because I'm also worried about him like climbing because if he like climbed out of the crib and like falls he could obviously get hurt and then also like if he's on the floor and he like decides to like because he's just like he won't stay in bed he decides to climb on something, even though everything's like mounted and he falls. He's just like honestly kind of a wild kid. I didn't have this problem with Bennett. I don't really foresee it happening with Lila, but Theo is a wild child. So 
it saved us and it was perfect. It worked amazingly and he loves it. He thinks he's so cool because he has a tent. But that is that. Um, and then what else do we do that night? Play games. We play Monopoly Deal. And then like one of, the, it's like a game where it's not, there's a game similar to it called like things or something where you like roll a dice and it has a letter on it and you like write down categories like based on the letter. Does that make sense? But it's like a different one. It's like a different variation of that game. And Monopoly Deal is like the best and Brie bought it already and like is practicing at home and then we're going to play it when we see each other next. Then on Saturday, I put in that I was super, super tired. I got Starbucks at 6.30. I just woke up and like couldn't go back to sleep. And then I door dashed McDonald's for breakfast. And I worked this day because Brie and Bruce wanted to go to Snooze. And then they also went to Zilker Park. So they did that in the morning. And then I got some work done that I needed to do. And then for dinners, dinner, we got Ike's again because we love Ike's. So... And they have a lot of vegan options, which is nice. Vegan and vegetarian. They have, like, so many. Like, I feel like unless I go to, like, a vegan restaurant, there isn't a lot of restaurants that have that many vegan options. And Brian, well, Brian Bruce, vegan, vegetarian. Um, then we just, like, look through our old yearbook. And then I put in WTF L-A-M-L-M-A-O, which is from, the WTF is from Carly plans I don't know if that was a custom it might have been and then the other one is from Kinesh's sampler but there was just like this funny thing that happened this night so I had to put it in and then I'll look back at it and I could also chuckle again then on Sunday I put in that Lila was just like had a bad sad belly and then Brie left super early in the morning and Nick so graciously drove them I picked them up from the airport but we live like 45 minutes from the airport so it is like a two hour like trip all in all said and done and at five o'clock in the morning I probably could have did it but also like I don't know I'm tired so and I was super tired because I feel like I hadn't slept too much this week so Nick took them love him so much he's the best and then my boys were like can we go to Grammy oops my my ice timer is off um we go to grandma and grandma's house so they went to my in-laws and we cleaned everything we just needed to tidy up clean get everything together and uh like do some laundry put away laundry like I needed to do some work things and then we got canes for lunch and then we went to my in-laws and had dinner there we had burgers which were super good um my father-in-law is like a grill master basically and they were delicious like 10 out of 10 um we just I don't know if I think we might have like I don't know if we curbsided the ingredients or like we Nick went I think we curbsided them but we like brought the ingredients they make the burgers it's, it's all win 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 and then I went to bed super early this night which I might also do tonight because I am also quite tired but that my friends is everything for this week I had a lot of fun it was a roller coaster of emotions this week, but I am glad that it turned out cute in my planner. And I love this kit. I think it turned out adorable. Such a random theme, but I think it's perfect for this week. Oh, I didn't even mention I was going to use the Eliza kit for going to the zoo, but because that was kind of a disaster, I wanted to use that like when I go to the zoo and it's not a disaster, probably in the fall. But Brie loves Guy Fieri, so I thought that this one worked, and we ate a lot of food. So it all worked out, and it's super, super cute. But again, I hope you like this spread, and I will talk to y'all in my next one. Bye!